Hey guys and welcome back. I've done a couple of videos on alternate state, but there's still some really cool things that you can actually do. And uh, I thought I would get into it in this video. So uh, what do we want to do? Well, I have two graphs here, which are for the two different states that I have. That's state one and state two. And here I have a combined view. So in this case, what I want to do is different set operators, right? Like for example, I can do an intersection, I can do a union, I can do an exclusion. So how to incorporate set operators in your alternate states? For example, in this case, I've configured it for it to be a intersection for now. That is whatever I select here. So here I select Australia and Bhutan and uh, Canada and China. Essentially what's happening now is the selections that I've made in state one and the selections that I've made in state two has been combined because this is a union of the two. So just a different way to analyze things, right? Maybe you want to compare them at the same time, you want to have one shot, which is uh, either a union or intersection or whatever. So how to use those kind of different set operators? Let's have a look. Well. So let's start from scratch. I've created a new bar chart here. The dimension is country and the measure is, let's say, sum of sales amount. Good. And we're gonna apply the states. That is state one. And I'm gonna say union. Well, it's just super simple adding the set operator between the two different states. So union between state one and state two. So essentially I'm saying whatever selections is made here, union it with the selections of state two. Apply and now we get our union. What if you want to change it? What if you want to make this our, well, an intersection? So I'm going to change this one to an intersection here. And now what happens is, well, the two countries that are selected here, there is no intersection between the two. What if I make one extra selection here, that is Australia is also selected. So the only common between the two selections that is state one and state two is Australia. So this graph shows the intersection between the two. Pretty cool, right? This can be really helpful actually. Um, it let's me do it this way and oops, here now, in this case, I've made several different selections, but the intersection is only these five countries. Really cool. Good. Now we have intersection. What if we want to do um, an exclusion? So in this case, I'm going to say a minus here. And I click on apply. Good. And now I say Australia, Canada. And over here, I say Australia. So over here, what I'm bringing in is I'm bringing in all that is in state one, except those that are also included in state two. In this case, Armenia is the only one that is not included in the selections in state two. So whatever selections is in state two that also exists in state one has been excluded and the remaining is brought in here. Now you could change this. That is now I'm doing ex any kind of operator between state one and state two, right? You could change it. That is, what if I wanted with the default? So in that case, I could change this and just put a dollar sign here. Now, essentially what I'm saying is all that is included in the default state, but exclude that which has been selected in state two. So click on apply. Now, if you see here, Australia, Canada, and Bhutan, which are the selections that is made in state two, will be missing in my graph here. And even though only three countries are selected in state one, all of it has been selected here. Why is that? Because, well, there are no selections made here, right? Now, if I'd make a couple of selections here, we see that, so all the selections made in the default state excluding the ones that are made in state two. So instead of comparing two different states, if you want to compare one state with the default state, then you could replace it with the dollar and you would get the same kind of results. Pretty cool, right? Well, I have all these different formulas written down with the set operators and how they actually function in the clicked sense cheat sheet. So 
check it out people are absolutely loving it check out the master class um, all the links below please leave a like super appreciate it and see you in the next one peace